What's up guys, I'm Jed Amendroth and this is Big Man Fitness. All right, don't forget to reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up. Always helps with the channel. And speaking of helping with the channel, don't forget to share this on Facebook, Twitter, through email. Share it to your friends, your family, people that may find it informative or at least entertaining. Help my channel out if you don't mind and help me bring more and more videos to you. All right, well, we just went over kind of the food myths that have been, well, debunked. Now, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about something I'm going through and I'm more than likely gonna have to end up going to the doctor to figure out, well, how to make it better. You see, for the last month and a half, I've been dealing with carpal tunnel in my wrist, but it also feels like it's affecting my shoulder. And it has been bad. It doesn't feel too bad now, but as soon as I try to raise my arm about right there, it really starts getting real painful. So reaching higher cabinets, a lot of different things has become very, very painful. To the point that, well, I'm gonna have to get it looked at. I've given it a couple weeks, and yeah, we're just gonna have to go see where, well, where this takes me. So I haven't been lifting. Uh, the jogs in the morning are still going on. I'm trying to modify my workouts to allow different movements. Obviously, bent over rows seem to be okay, but what's the point of building your back? Well, I guess I could still build my back. It's the whole idea of just, I want a good, well-rounded workout. I'm not just gonna work on my back when I can't focus on my chest or my shoulders, my legs. But now I am gonna continue working on my legs, obviously. So, what does, where does this take us? Where is this, you know, what's all this gonna do? Well, the channel's still here. I'm still working on my overall fitness and everything I'm doing trying to make myself better and just doing better things but I will be focusing on trying to get this healed because it feels like again I can only go up to about there but now if I have pressure pushed on it seems fine maybe not great but much better than un unhelped I guess is the best way to put it so I am definitely gonna be trying to fix this and make this better but also what else can I do? So I do have my workouts that my therapist said, my physical therapist had given me originally that, well, possibly could be my new source of fitness and things I can do. They focus more on the lower body and core, which is fine for me, because I definitely need to build my core better anyways, you know, what's well, a tree if it doesn't have a solid trunk. So I'll be working on that stuff and just really trying to get myself in a better position for, well, how all of this is affecting everything I do. And that's not just in fitness, how much I edit and sit in front of a computer, not just here at home, but at work. I'm, I'm constantly on a computer, so the type of mice that I'm using, uh, you know, I use the MX Master 3 here, but what really drove the carpal tunnel or me realizing I had it, was that we're doing a renovation at work. And what that means is I'm not at my desk and I was kind of temporarily pushed into another desk for a little bit where I was using the stock Dell mouse that comes with you know, Dell PCs. Now, let me tell you, that mouse, if I'm holding it correctly, doesn't even reach my palm. And it was all the little micro instead of macro movements that my MX Master kind of forces me into. Well, then I, I noticed all the pain in my wrist, which then made me realize, I think it's in also with this, because I'm not doing the macro movements, but now I've just been doing these kind of small micro movements, and that's causing a lot of the issues, I think, in my shoulder. So, it's not that we get injured in fitness, but even little things can cause injury that we have to really pay attention to and make sure we're taken care of. Because now, God, I hope I can kind of fix the carpal tunnel issue. 
and why I'm thinking it, it's also causing an issue on the shoulder and trying to fix that because I didn't have an issue or at least one that I didn't notice in my shoulder until this renovation about a month ago started. Oh God, it's almost a month and a half ago, early September, that I started noticing the pain in my shoulder. So guys, always pay attention to everything you're doing, not just in fitness, but everyday life because this stuff is very important and can cause different issues like my shoulder, my knees, <clears throat> the different things. So you guys know the drill, reach on down here, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications and then always give this video a big thumbs up. Helps me bring more videos to you and spread my videos to those that may want to see them. You can always find me on Facebook Jedediah Raymond Avendroth, and from there, I'll lead you to the group that I've created for this channel on YouTube, but on Facebook, but on YouTube, but on Facebook. You can also find me, Jed FDK, on Twitter and on Instagram. Please come, stop by, say hi, check my, check out any other content I have. You guys won't be uh, disappointed, I don't think. And if any of these don't really chi jive with you and you want to reach out to me in, a, in another form, maybe a little more privately, please send me an email, bmfjed at gmail.com. All right, guys, well, that's what I had for you this week. Please keep up good health, stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next week. Peace.